So the question in today's video is a very, very simple one. And I'm gonna find out whether or not jumbo grips are a help or a hindrance when it comes to wedge play. Now I've tested these grips out on seven iron, on fairway woods and on driver also, but lots of you commented that I should try them on wedges. And I'm gonna find out what they do, how they affect my swing. And like I said earlier, do they help or do they hinder? We'll soon find out, I suppose. So first up, or next up rather, is a little bit of a chip and run shot. I've got a 54 degree wedge, so things are going to be a little bit different than, uh, than what I'd probably play with uh, if, if we had these grips on a variety of my wedges. But like I said, 54 is all I've got. We'll try another one. So the first thing you notice is the hands are taken out of the equation uh, quite noticeably. And again, got that, uh, probably not got quite enough on that again. But the interesting thing, like I said, kills the hands. You notice that straight away. Any sort of uh, idea that you want to sort of flip the head, which is very much uh, a lot of us as average golfers want to sort of help the ball along, if you like, which can be a common fault in our wedge play. And what the jumbo grip does, it doesn't eliminate it totally. Don't get me wrong, you can do that, but it makes it puts up a resistance and it makes it a lot more difficult to do that. So in that instance of this sort of in and around the green area, I'd say that that's a massive bonus for a lot of us. So it, this one interests me because I think this is the, the problem where I have, or the area where I have less of an issue with the idea of the grip, if that makes sense. Let's start the other way around. I'm worried about the feel shots, that you lose feel in and around the green. That's the bit that I'm a little scared of, uh, and we'll see if that is uh, rings true or not. But for this type of shot, which is effectively, it's not quite a full shot. I don't have an issue. Like I said, with the, uh, when I did the seven iron review, it kind of um, it neutralized ball flight. And I'm hoping it'll do exactly the same with the wedge as well. Oddly enough, it doesn't feel weird this time round. Whereas um, when I first put the grip on the driver, it was such an odd feeling. But I'm okay with this and I'm relatively comfortable. That's going to be short, I think. That's not too bad. It was right on line, and again, that's the interesting bit. I mean, generally, my bad shot with wedge is that I'll, I've got a sort of uh, the tendency to sort of turn it over and still, or maybe pull it just a little bit down that left-hand side. And yet again, you'll see that ball flight was straight at the flag. So that's an encouraging start. Distance control perhaps wasn't quite there. Was that just purely down to my swing which and uh, an understanding of the yardage with this club in hand i think it probably was and got nothing to do with the actual grip so on that shot there i was still impressed you know there's another interesting wedge into the flag which is straight at it and that's the bit that is uh, without doubt a key feature and I keep on saying it, I'm going to keep on repeating it. it's the bit that I never understand as to well I cannot understand it I understand it takes the hands out of it but I can't believe how much it does to that you'll see the shots that are going over now that uh, again these are all shots that don't go left there's plenty of options to do other things uh, with this club but going left is really not one of them it's very difficult to turn that ball over it's very difficult to get handsy with it and again i say from the previous clip that's the bit that keeps on surprising me and that's the real positive for most average golfers it's so easy to get flippy with those hands with those wedge shots even in the full shots as well but every time i do these reviews with these uh, jumbo grips on I'm left with more sort of questions than answers, I suppose, or at least I don't give you the answers that uh, perhaps you're looking for, because I've got no explanation. Well, I do know when I said to Hannah off camera just a second or two ago, there's something in these grips, there is no doubt about it, that um, eliminates ball flight tendencies and get that ball going straighter. That's something I can without doubt confirm. Right, so next up really is the question I asked earlier on in the video is, when you sort of got the sort of a more of what I call a bit of a feel shot, does it kind of, does the larger grip eliminate that from the equation? And that's what worries me. Um, I mean, I played some shorter chips earlier on and uh, I have to admit it wasn't too bad at all, but I'm just sort of finding this kind of 
almost, I want to throw this ball up in the air. And ironically, I want to put a bit of wrist in there and uh, it doesn't allow me to do it. And I don't know whether I like that or not. I'm going to try that again. That's actually worked out okay, but I must admit, I got it a little bit heavy. It's probably not the shot that I intended to play. So is that kind of a logic as to why that might have been the case? We'll try it again anyway. I once again sort of dug in and down on that just a little bit more than I'd have intended to. I'm going to try that shot again on another hole, but it's the one negative I've got of having it on the wedges. And the one that I was concerned about in the first instance was, I don't know, just to be able to manipulate that club head. And maybe that's a negative. Maybe that's, that's the problem. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, but I just feel like I've just not got quite control enough um, of that club head and I'm a sort of I am a player a sort of handsy player as well um, a bit of a field player and again very much reliant on sort of uh, understanding where that club head is throughout my swing and I'm not saying that's a positive that's possibly even a negative of the way I play the game of golf but just in and around these areas that's the bit I just find it just a little bit clumbersome really personal thing maybe Ah, okay, that could even go in. That's a real, that's, well, I just switched to that shot there, so I'll try another one, and um, we had, it was a lot better in terms of execution, maybe, from my shot, so not as bad down there. Actually choked down the grip a little bit, though, to play it, and obviously it tapers off a little bit, so it was a little bit more normal in the hand down that bottom end of the grip, so whether or not that was something, but easy enough to pop that ball up, and, uh, yeah, execute the shot a little bit better on that occasion. Well, of course, we can't do the review without uh, trying a bunker shot because at 54 degrees, it's certainly a club that I'd be looking to play uh, a bunker shot with. And again, this is uh, similar to that sort of chip that we're looking to, uh, well, maybe use those hands a little bit. And certainly the way I play a bunker shot is, but let's see how we get on. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'd take that any day of the week in terms of where that's finished. But again, really, really, uh, I think it's a case of almost, when I played the shots earlier, that I said I was a bit negative towards it. I think you've got to really relax the hands a little bit. Everything just gets a little bit, uh, it's a little bit alien in terms of the grip. So obviously getting used to it. But those last two shots I've played was just like a free swing that I'd normally hit with the normal grip. And I know that sounds uh, the logical thing to have done anyway. But for some reason, just having that sort of wider grip on, like I said, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But it's certainly, yeah, I swing between kind of being so majorly positive and then sort of frightened to death of them at the same time, I think. So just, just to clarify that point um, about being frightened to death of them, the point I was trying to make is that if you do watch the channel a lot, you'll know I was very positive towards them using uh, seven iron, fairway wood and driver. I really did found performance benefits. And if you look in my bag, you'll not see any jumbo grip on any of the clubs that I'm using. So the question you should be asking is, well, if they're that good, why haven't you got them on? And it's a very valid one. And what I'm asking myself as I'm asking you, or as I'm trying to tell you or explain to you as well, because often with a lot of these videos, I do say don't uh, I sort of, you know, practice what you preach and because there's a lot of information I relay to uh, viewers and suggest it's a great idea but don't necessarily replicate that in my bag. And this being the case, the logic I would give is that I found that by having it on one or two clubs, it was very strange to go from hitting a driver to then hitting an iron that doesn't have a jumbo grip on. So in my opinion, it was something you need to go right the way throughout the bag with. And the only bit that I don't understand with that, if that's the way you were gonna, and, and quite possibly from a performance fact that I would do that, the only negative is, and this is not even a joke, is how do you fit 14 of these things in a bag? Because they just do not fit in the bag. Once you've got three or four of them on, even getting those three or four out of the bottom of your carry bag is nigh on impossible. So I think someone out there, if these become popular, needs to start designing some bigger bags that accommodate jumbo grips. That's the reason why they're not in my bag or on my golf clubs. That's another ball straight at the flag to finish. Could be a bit long. Well, it is a bit long. It's over the flag. 
But the main point being, and uh, Hannah said how we're going to finish this video, and I think we're going to finish it like, um, like I said pretty much in the last point, that I'm confused because my overall feeling about the, um, the question was, are these good or bad in terms of wedge play? I'd say probably I'm 90% sure that they are good. I think that um, certainly from a distance and full shots, the idea to be able to flip them and move them over to the left hand side, I just haven't done it throughout the whole video. Um, we've played a number of shots now from in and around this sort of full swing distance and it just, it doesn't happen. So that's a real, real positive. And the only negative I would have had, like I said, was just that sort of feel element in and around the greens. And I almost feel like that is just something that you will sort of get used to and the more and more you play with them. This is literally the first time I've had this co uh, club out of the bag and hit the very first shot earlier on this morning so in terms of playing with it a little bit more i'm sure you get used to it the thing is like i said if you've got it on your 54 you've got to have it on the rest of your wedges you've got it on your pitching wedge and that's the big issue for me are you prepared to go sort of all in and uh, fully commit to jumbo grips my own feeling i suppose as i'm talking and giving you the answer is that I think that the stage that I would make or the step I would make is to maybe look at putting sort of uh, four layers of tape under my grips and maybe gradually sort of progress that way. That'd be something I'd be really interested in trying on uh, throughout the bag. And that's something that we may look to do in the future. Anyway, as ever, not the best of reviews because I sort of learned as I went and tried to relay that information to you. So maybe you've been using these longer than I have. Let me know what you think. Have you been using them on wedges and has it been a good idea for you or not? Right, thank you for watching. Thank you to Carden Park for having us again this morning. It's been a lovely morning and I will see you all very, very soon.